Okay, so today our wise buy is going to be on baby's dummy. Before I begin, I want to disclaim that I am neither a professional doctor or an expert, but based on my little education on being a child practitioner and my experience as a mother and of course research and feedback from other mothers, we bring you this episode. Today, as I said, we are going to be looking at dummy. What is a dummy? So it's that little thing that children normally put into their mouth to calm them down, suck on it, to just stimulate or calm their nerves up. Those who do not really know, of course, if your mother and you're watching, you know what dummy is. Some call it pacifier, some call it the smoother. So however you refer it to today for the um the sake of this video i'm going to be using the dummy okay this is a picture link up for the daddies who do not know that yet maybe you expect a daddy who is now about to have a baby that is a picture of a dummy okay so i'm going to be using two dummies and one is going to be representing other dummies out there that is very big so we got this is a dummy and this dummy so we have dummy, we have the handle, and we have the tip, okay? We we have two types of dummy, but I'll explain that, I think, in my fifth point that we'll be, exp uh, we'll be elaborating on. Very good. So sometimes, when we tend to be especially first-time moms, we are so interested in having um, a fashionable dummy where sometimes you see this the side of this dummy we tend to have one like a cork some by one that looks like lips some by one that looks like a rose flower some even by a diamond looked one so many artistic designs forgetting that this thing is going to be used by a tender small baby come on moms we focus on the designs, we focus on how we want to decorate the mouth of the baby by buying huge ones like this. I was a victim, bought a big one that looked like a lip, which was colored red. And I remember when the baby came out and the baby had to use it, the baby was always refusing it when I put it into the mouth. It takes it into the mouth and within seconds it's on the floor. And at that time, I didn't understand. And that is what, and I used to say, my baby did never like dummy. She's different. She doesn't like dummy. Little did I know that it didn't, she didn't, it's not like she didn't like it. It was just because it was too heavy for the lips or for the mouth to hold. She's a tender baby. Her muscles, her mouth muscles are not yet developed. Yet you give her that huge thing, just concentrating on the design, the fashion of it, forgetting that you are really killing the baby. Do you get it? So most of you, especially you first-time moms, you might not have sat down and analyzed it. But the truth is that dummy you bought for the baby is too much of weight for the baby. That is why baby is not really holding it for long or accepting it. And you think baby does not. If you like after this video, try to get a lightweight one and then you will see the difference. Anyway, so this dummy will represent all the fashionable ones out there that has a very big board. Okay, so we will turn that as um, dummy A. Okay, then I have another one here. Should I use the same color? Okay, I think I have another color. So let me use this so you can see the difference. Another dummy here, that will be dummy B. Okay, so dummy A is very, compared to dummy B, it's heavy and very, looks very big when you put it on the tiny baby's lips. Dummy B here is ultra light. So when we say ultra light, it's lighter than you can ever think. You will not even feel like you're holding anything. Okay, so... We recommend that when you're having or you're buying dummy, the first thing you should look out for is the weight. 
baby's muscles is not yet developed well and you putting anything heavy on baby's lips just stresses the muscles here the jaw muscles it can even affect the development of the baby's muscles so we recommend please look for ultra ultra weight dummies okay ultra light weight dummies for your children so looking at this two which is a which represents the fashionable one and b we will say b is the winner in terms of weight for the baby okay then we look at the second thing that you should always look for when you are um, buying a dummy should be how big or small it looks okay do not buy dummies that has a very big board okay if you have a big board because of the fashion that you're concentrating on the baby puts it in your mouth and it covers a whole lot it becomes like a distraction to the baby so that means when the baby has it in the mouth he feels like there's something shadowing around him like shuddering and blocking and because she's not so comfortable with that because she or he hasn't experienced that before they tend to push it away and once they do the first one they see that oh that distraction is not there anymore it becomes a habit and they keep pushing it off and like ah my baby keeps pushing the dummy off no it's because it has a very big board okay whereas when you look at dummy b it has a very small board so it might just cover the lip of the baby therefore it does not cause any form of distraction to the or barrier to the baby or it doesn't even scare the baby do you get it so that is a second thing that you ought to look out for when you are going for your dummy for your precious baby then most importantly the third point we want to raise on is hygiene so for the hygiene side i'm going to divide it into hygiene a and hygiene b so for the hygiene side we are looking at dummies that you can sterilize and being sterilized do not restrict yourself as a mom because there's a lot for you to do so for you not to restrict yourself as a mom make sure you go in for dummies that can be sterilized either in cool water or boiling water or electrical sterilizer or even you can use that tablet sterilizer or microwave in sterilizing it okay and if you are going to use the two dummies that we are using today as an example i would say because this is made of silicone and a rubber plastic it's okay to sterilize in all of them so you can sterilize in boiling water with the tablet in the electrical sterilizer in the microwave same as dummy b so for point three hygiene a both dummies are good for you to go for in terms of hygiene a good now when it comes to hygiene b i would recommend that every dummy should have a cover okay very importantly should have a cover why because the cover prevents a lot of bacteria from sitting or settling on the tip of the dummy okay if you leave it like that because baby saliva is on it it easily attracts germs and bacteria to settle on there but when it's been covered like that It keeps it hygienic and away from bacteria. Okay, if bacteria settle on a dummy, what do you think will happen? It could cause a lot of sickness in the baby or illness because the, you have that back into the mouth, which introduces those bacteria or germs into her system. And of course, this baby is so fragile; her immune system is not fully developed yet to to fight back those bacteria, and these can cause a lot of infections that you can ever imagine. Hence. For you not to get frustrated after being discharged from the hospital and going back straight back to the hospital because baby has infections, it's best to have a dummy with a cover. 
okay i love this dummy i used it for all my children so far because it's very very lightweight okay very lightweight um it has a cover and what i love about it is easy to use you just do that you press this side and it locks you i believe you heard the sound it clicked it locks and no matter how you turn it it will never fall so this is a lovely dummy that i have used for a long time all right so when it comes to hygiene bw has to do with having a cover most of those decorative ones do not have covers most of them do not have covers and we think just having a holder is enough but even if it has a holder which is clenched to baby's dress as baby sits in the bag and is going around flies can sit, touch it settle on it dump all sorts of gems on there and still go so it's even important that always have a cover on a dummy so in this um state of analysis we will say dummy b is the winner for hygiene b and that brings us to number five of our assessment okay and says that this most of these decorative dummies do not have just have a normal handle like this which is okay but we have other dummies that have a glowing handle so when the lights are off you they tend to have um a light they tend to have light the handle tend to glow or come on like a light which is a good indication because from past mother's feedback we got to know that when the lights are on it's easy when baby is sleeping normally we turn off the light so just from a distance you're able to notice that oh baby is okay oh baby is on the dummy oh baby is is there do you get it but if there is no lighting on sometimes it is hard even with you as a mom whilst you sleep and baby start nagging around wanting to you realize oh she needs a dummy and it's easy to spot to find it for her on time before she wakes up because if there's no light to help you trace it and um, by the time you find dummy baby will sit up looking at you and you have to start the whole sleeping routine again <laughs> yeah so we recommend that a dummy with a glow lightning is very very essential i have this one in the green let's see if um we could have that lighty thing if i do this um i'm not sure if you can see it but you have a glowing thing like that coming out and that leads us to um our point six and our point six is it's important to also have varieties in terms of your dummy i know um we say when children are uh, young or the first newborn baby should always feed on the orthodontic style which is the run tip style because their thangs are now stretching with their muscles or their jaw muscles and we or they also recommend according to research that they should use the tamp style okay so let me educate you on that before we analyze so with this tends to be the if you look at this one it has a round tip so this is the orthodontic style okay so this is what most time they used to recommend for newborn babies okay and then we have the thumb style so you, that one has a flat edge here if you could see properly yeah turning it all around so you could see the difference so it has a flat edge here that's a thumb style so they recommend that normally a zero or newborn baby to three months should have that and then from that onwards you can change to that but i think when it comes to this type of dummy that i recommend they are very lightweight they are very smallish and baby don't tend to see much difference when it comes to the tips or the styles my first one baby yes i went with that routine second baby went with that routine but my third baby they didn't go with that routine she has been using the time stuff from baby and because it's very smallish it doesn't tend to affect any much of a development and she loves it she loves it okay so on that note we're going to now judge which of the dummies is the winner for today's episode okay so this one dummy a representing all the fashionable and big dummies out there and dummy two 
okay i used the red one to start so let's use the red one so the dummy two being the um the other side which is dummy b we saw that in our first point which was the ultra light dummy b was the winner because dummy b just weigh um 0.66 while this one weigh about 1.20 so dummy b was the winner in terms of a smallish the board this one has a very small border just cover the lips while this one has a big border covers up to the nose so dummy b is still the winner for that in terms of hygiene a and b which is sterilizing both of them won so we still have three one and then for hygiene b which was has to have in its cover um dummy b was the winner and so it have four one and then in terms of the lighting glow dummy b was the winner so we have five one and then in terms of variety dummy b was the winner because it has the orthodontic and it has the charm style as well so we have this winning again for six one hence our conclusion based on analysis will be dummy B being the preferred dummy to use. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to go and buy the same thing, but this gives you a guide as to how to choose your dummies for your baby to ensure that it doesn't affect their development, to ensure that baby enjoys it, to ensure that you do not bed in baby's muzzle jaws as well. Okay, this winner dummy was um bought from matma.co.uk and they apparently the last time i bought it they sell these two pair which is the orthodontic and the term together for 5.99 this is not a promoted video it is just recommending it because of course there's something they say in my language say obi obi through a japa we push them so if somebody climbs a good or take a good initiative you support them so for it giving us the satisfaction that we want we recommend it and we say that go purchase some from there or use it as a guide to be able to select the right dummies for your baby i hope this episode has been helpful share on to others so that other new moms can make the right choices wherever they are please like and don't forget to subscribe and of course let's comment below on other products that you are confused about as to what you should look out for to buy for your baby and i'll be more glad and happy to bring you a video on it thank you for watching this episode and together you and i will make motherhood joyous it's always been your lady miss millie i will see you in my next episode bye